right, so today's kind of a slow day. It's been basically downpouring all day until about an hour ago. So I've just been taking care of stuff around the house, but something pretty important did show up. Now, I gotta say, the radials on the street did seriously impress me. Uh, I thought the car would have just viciously spun, but but it actually, they got pretty sticky and tried to hook up. I thought that they would have just immediately went up in smoke and spun, but they actually got pretty sticky and uh, the car, all things considered, tried to hook pretty good. But I uh, got some Hoosiers for it, got some slicks. These are a 26 850 15 and we're gonna try and get them thrown on today. Did pick up another set of wheels, just the same Jegs wheels, because I want to drive it around a bunch on the radials. Don't want to put a bunch of just driving miles on the slicks, you know. And then also picked up this wheel screw kit and got a template I'm borrowing from my buddy John. So we can get it drilled out. We're just going to do every other hole. This was only like 10 bucks or so and it came with a drill bit. Could have went to a hardware store, but figured, what the heck. I know a lot of people like to just run self-tappers through there. I think that's what they did on the Firebird when I first got that. The weld wheels on the back, they just ran some self-tappers through. So this is gonna be my first time actually putting any screws in any wheels, so it'll be fun. I'm definitely going to start with <laughs> the back side. It shouldn't be too bad, really. I think once I get the first hole drilled and get everything kinda figured out on uh, like the placement on the bead should be pretty good. The funny thing about it was uh, people think these tires are a lot bigger than they are. But it's just such a small car that they look big. Uh, Herb from Michigan Muscle Car Garage stopped by earlier and he's like, those are 275s, aren't they? And I was like, no, those are only 255s. <laughs> like, yeah, they're, they just look real beefy on this car because it's such a small car. I mean, look, my hand is bigger than the car. And I believe they already have, yeah, 83 and three quarter. What was this one? 83 and three quarter, nice. So they're pretty darn close on the rollout. Uh, I'd be surprised if they were actually 83 and three quarter. Right on the eye down there is on the crack. All right, so both eyes are right on the crack. So that goes right there. Yeah, you might be able to see, this one had just a hair more rollout, this one on the right. Because when, uh, when we left, these eyes were lined up and this one's further ahead. So, like I said, I would have been surprised if they were both identical, but they are pretty damn close. So, sounds like it's about to rain again. Uh, let's just start getting to drilling the wheel and try and get these things mounted up. All right, 
Got the back side all done. Turned out pretty good. There was only two of them that I got uh, too close to the lip here. Kind of see them poking through the other side. So, just gonna knock out the others and see if we can get the tires mounted. All right, got all the holes drilled, gonna clean them all up, and then uh, gonna start mounting the tires. I think my dad's gonna come over and help me because prying them on is sometimes a pain in the ace. But yeah, just gonna go back and pull all these screws out and make sure there's no sharp pieces sticking out, and then we'll start throwing the Done. It wasn't too bad. The problem is these pry bars are so small it's hard to get leverage on it. This one's like, I don't know, 14 inches. That one's probably 18. This would be much easier with a second hand, so hopefully he shows up soon. I'm going to get the screws pulled out of that one and get started on it. And, uh, and then we'll get them aired up.
we got them both mounted uh, got that one all aired up seated screwed this one the valve stem was bad so he took off to go grab another one because he's got a drawer full of them at his place but i was curious this is at 17 pounds right now what the actual uh total width is and it looks like about a little under 10 and a quarter like 10 and 3 sixteenths maybe so i'm hoping that that is not any wider than the radials that are on the car because those rub just a hair on the uh inner wheel well and don't want to do that to these but they look pretty sexy on both of them i lined the valve stems up with the s's on the hoosier so while waiting for him to bring back the valve stem for that one I'm gonna get this wheel thrown on and see how it looks. So far everything's looking good. Yeah, we got, we got at least a good quarter inch gap everywhere. It's definitely smaller, but I think it fits pretty good. So let's get these ones measured just to see. A little over 10 and a quarter. So just for now, let me drop this down and get an idea of how it's gonna sit. You know, really, that's not bad. Yeah, that's actually not bad. I do kind of think that, like, turning around and things like that, that the sidewall will rub on the inside just from like flex and stuff. As far as like functional fitment goes, that's not bad. I can definitely live with that. What do you think, Max? Good? Good is? All right, never mind. You guys don't give a shit. I'm hoping that things dry up for the rest of the day so I can at least test it once or twice. So probably not gonna be able to test the car today. But got them both on. They are a lot shorter <laughs> than these tires. It should work out pretty good. Those ones have great fitment, but those I think will have a little bit more function. It dropped the back a little bit. So I think it'll help with uh, like the weight bias too. Put the wheels on in the same orientation side to side so I can see if the rear end does anything wonky, you know? Like if one is suddenly 90 degrees from where the other one is, then I'll know something's up. I think it turned out pretty good. So now I just gotta wait for the weather to cooperate so I can take the car out and make a few passes in it and see how it does. I need to get a bigger fuel pump in the car because I'm already really running out of fuel pump. At about 14 pounds, it goes super lean. But that is gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We'll see you next time.